Well, hi, y'all. I am back. Um, I wanted to do the follow-up that I promised. Um, it's the follow-up to me attending my aunt's um, benefit dinner. It was just fabulous. Um, and I wanted to share the things that I actually won. And typically, I am not a winner. I might win one thing here and there in a few months' time. Um, and then win nothing or maybe win a few dollars here and there on a lottery ticket or something. But I'm not tri I'm not traditionally a winner. I'm really not. Um, and one thing I want to say before I show you the items, I actually won seven items. Guess what my lucky number is? And I think everybody has a lucky number. If not, you need to get you a lucky number. My lucky number has always been seven. Why? Is, why? I guess because my birthday has a couple of sevens in it. So... Just, you know, if you have a lucky number, stick with it. I even feel like I should play the lottery today. Um, I didn't take the time to do that, but I did win um, these seven items. So let me share them with you, okay? Give me a minute. My favorite items, or perhaps my favorite item, is this. It is a, you can call it a wooden canvas motivational um, Bible prayer. Just just a nice nice home piece um not sure where i'm going to put it yet but it has a lamp attached a miniature lamp attached you can see the cord so i am so excited i'm thinking about putting it in my curio i'm not quite sure um but i am so glad i won this i just love it again not sure where i'm going to put it but that's one of the pieces that i won today all right also i won this um, I believe you can never get enough of such things as this. We've got a little miniature Clorox, um, dryer sheets, little bags here, and then, I think they're little bags, hold on. Um, yeah, quick tie bags, and then they actually have the gang um, scent. And then I also have two small gang um, laundry detergents, so I'm so proud of this bag here. Okay. Another item I want is one of uh, number. It was one of number one oh seven. Some people claim they didn't actually see these, but I'm so glad I did. They were um, put in a different um, location, so some didn't get to see them. But this was one of the gift cards or gift certificates given away. It's from Garland Pizza. Garland Pizza um, is just a few miles from here. I love their pizza, their lasagna. Um, their salads, everything. So I'm so excited to be able to get this garland pizza, um, this large pizza. I will probably get it one day next week. Um, my son goes there to garland to get his haircut. By the way, my husband also separately won a haircut from that barber shop that I'm talking about. So either he or my son will use that free haircut that he won today. All right. Next, I have Spicy Shelf. When I saw this, I knew I was going to put several tickets in it. Stackable Cabinet Organizer. I just love it. I love it. Spicy Shelf. Um, so you get to put do you get to put all your spices um, in one place. I think this is fabulous. I will definitely need it. My husband is really the cook here at our in our home. Um, I cook here and there, but it will really help out in the kitchen with our little single wide mobile home kitchen being as small as it is all right next i won this butterfly i cannot wait to put it on the wall especially since it's spring i was thinking of doing butterflies or um pineapples so i might try to do butterflies anyway um although i could do pineapples in my kitchen maybe i'll do butterflies um I don't know, maybe in the den, I'm, I'm not sure, but I love this piece. It's pretty big, too. It's pretty big, a huge butterfly, life-size butterfly, so I love that. And I also won, this was one of the um, last items to come in. I'm so glad I did because in the gift that I actually, one of the gifts that I um, sponsored the Penny Social with, by the way, these all were one in a Penny Social. I used several washcloths myself. I purchased them and put in the gift that I sponsored today. And so I'm so glad to be able to get washcloths because this is like a gift in return to me. Um, and in a pretty color, pink, different shades of pink, as you can see. So I really like this. And it's a neat little basket. I'll probably use this basket to maybe gift um, something for someone else one day. Okay. And last but not least, that would put us at number seven. Look at these chairs, will you? 
look at these chairs I absolutely love these chairs um, I told my son he could use one um, in his room and we can have um, one maybe in the living room as an extra but as I said I just absolutely love these chairs don't mind all the stuff in my daughter's room we've been moving around she's um, moving back here to do her student teaching for a few months so we've been using her room as a storage room so don't mind anything if you see any extra stuff floating around but yes I love these chairs um, they haven't been hurt it looks like they haven't even been used um, yes but that's pretty much it oh let me show you show you my jewelry this jewelry was also a part of the funding but first of all it's paparazzi jewelry i think you may have seen it or you will see it in one of my future um blogs but i wear costume jewelry for the most part and this is um what these five dollar sets look like yes five dollar addiction you all my aunt pandora is the one that actually sells these she's the one that the benefit was held for um and so i purchased i think four four things today and these were two things that she had to order from um, me previous purchasing some um, but the ones I purchased today were these nice little red earrings I love this um, necklace earring set here absolutely gorgeous five dollar addiction five dollar addiction and then I also ordered these I have another red set that my husband purchased for me and so this bracelet can go with that red set along with these red earrings I can mix and match and last um, you can never go wrong with the beautiful long necklace gold tone necklace beautiful has like the tassel absolutely love it and here's my little candy for making a purchase today um, so again if you are not sure how to do a fundraiser that will bring money this fun this benefit dinner has only been planned I'm gonna say in the last month and it was on a Sunday which most people won't take that chance it happened to be a fifth Sunday when some people don't have church but it has really worked itself out again I am very very happy for Pandora um, the amount that was raised I think it was like $3,200, um, dollars That is excellent, excellent. That's, a, I mean, a huge amount for something just truly having been planned in, what, the last month or so, and it being on a Sunday. Um, there were other events going on. There was even a big funeral that was going on, but yet people still poured out their hearts. They still showed up. Those who didn't show, they sent donations. Um, so everything has just been work, working itself out for Pandora. Her progress has come up. She's, she's making very good progress. Um, I think she has to do a few more rounds of ready. Uh, radiation and she's got to get another biopsy so we'll see what comes of that but through prayer and hard work and pulling together um, we know that she's gonna come out on top and she's already talking about celebrating whenever she um, comes through and she's in remission so again Pandora I'm gonna do a couple of shots of her at the end of this blog um, yes I am rushing because in case you hear that rushing in my voice I'm rushing because right now my boys from Duke University are playing. Yes, I'm a Duke fan. Um, I'm an actual Tar Heel turned Duke fan. So I used to be a Tar Heel fan as a child. And there's a whole other story behind that. Now I'm a Duke fan. I will have to tell you all that story one day. Um, it deals with Johnny Dawkins. Johnny Dawkins is actually the coach of UCF. And they almost beat Duke the other night. But it deals with Johnny Dawkins. But yes, I'm Russian. So I'm going to get out there. My son has been here. He's informed me that Kentucky's not in the Final Four. That is, this is just... I tell you, big things happen with March Madness. But, yes, I've got to go and cheer my Duke boys on and see how they come out. Hopefully a win. If not, I know they played their best anyway. So I'm excited over that. Just excited over a great day that I have had, as you can tell in my voice. And I will get back with you. And, and it's not really a story. Uh-oh, that's probably my mama calling for me to do her Avon order. But I'm going to have to ignore her right now. <laughs> Because I'm supposed to do it every two weeks online. But anyway, um, I used to be a Tar Heel fan. But I, let's see, I was eight years old, seven years old, something like that. 
I was looking so hard for Michael Jordan and Sam Perkins to come to this little community game. It was a game that I think you had to pay a few dollars to see stars. We thought they were stars anyway from um, um, from the ACC. So in my mind, I'm going to see Michael Jordan. I'm going to see Sam Perkins. Neither, neither showed up. But guess who showed up? Remember I mentioned it was something dealing with Johnny Dawkins. Johnny Dawkins is currently the UCF coach that um, they almost beat Duke the other night. But anyway, he was the one that showed up. I was like, oh my gosh, there's Johnny Dawkins. How about I get outside because everybody else was thinking that some of them were going to be left in the building. They got out before we did. I got out just in time. I met up with him. I was like, oh my gosh, Johnny Dawkins, will you please let me take a picture? He let me take a picture of him. Right now, I have that picture. And I've got to pull it out of one of those photo albums that I have. But that is my thing. And I've been a Duke fan ever since. Ever since, rather. Yes, in the country, we said ever since. But that's wrong. Ever since, okay? So it's supposed to be ever since, y'all. I know I'm a teacher. But a lot of things that people say often come from the way their family said it. So ever since, y'all. Don't ever say ever since. It's ever since. All right, so the game is back on, y'all. We got a lot of time left. 66-63. Michigan State scored, so what we got here? 54 seconds. That's not good. That is not the result I wanted. Okay? This is not good. I saw that shot go in there. It's 66-68. Okay, we don't have much time, you know. Y'all, will you just look at this game? I'm... Oh... I guess if you've been watching, you know by now that Duke lost. So we got to go back to the house and try again next year. All right, Michigan State, I'll give you that. Okay, so it's Michigan State, Auburn, Virginia. Virginia representing the ACC. And Texas Tech in the Final Four. Good year, Duke. Good year. Good year. Good year. Try again next year. Thank you so so much for watching don't forget if no one else does be your own cheerleader create your own sunshine until next time